Today, River Heights, and welcome to another installment of instructional videos designed to help you and your children navigate the return to learn. I'm your host, Mr. Scheidt. We are so excited to see if our measures will work with a full group. Now, with this increase of students comes some reminders. Number one, if you have a library book or a classroom book that was left over from March, please bring it back in. Number two, if you have a Chromebook or an iPad device, bring them back as soon as possible. We need to sanitize them, strip them down of all previous files, and then reuse them as a class set. Number three, remember, there is no parking on school property because if you did, it would be very hard to keep socially distant. So remember that the demand will be there for those spots by the splash pad and by the flood exec center. Please plan ahead, expect delays, find your spot, and then work your way onto the school property. Now with more people on the ring road, please be mindful of social distancing. We've done a great job so far. Let's see how we do now with the full school. <laughs> if you walk onto the school property, please leave your dog at home. They're not supposed to be on the property even pre-COVID. So please, during the school day, and that's before, during, and after, please leave the pets at home. Please spend more time to review all the safety measures. This way, they're fresh in their minds and reviewed before coming for the full day. Now, we've discovered that everything, and I mean everything, every routine and process at the school has to be modified to keep up and to keep each other safe and distant and as contact-free whenever possible. Some of our processes we were able to plan ahead for. Others, we've learned as we went along. Mask wearing, for example. Kids don't have to wear masks outdoors at recess time if they can socially distance. What we learned was, well, they can't really be socially distant if in a huddle at soccer or on the climbers. In fact, there's no room to be socially distant on the climbers whatsoever. In those kinds of cases, students have to wear a mask briefly for those times at recess. Otherwise, they're mask free. Now, there are some home processes that fall into this category as well of the learning as we go along. Here are some we want to share with you. Number one, items that are coming to school have been coming minus labels. We need you to label everything, every personal item from water bottles to indoor shoes. Now, if it's labeled, it saves the adults handling the many items from the many homes. And you can see why that could be a problem if they had to. Number two, some children cannot open up their own snack and lunch containers, at least not without assistance. Please practice at home and then send only those containers that your child can open without adult assistance. It breaks our heart to watch a child struggle just to get into a container for their food and knowing all the while that we would usually jump right in and help out. Thank you for that uh, attention to that detail. Shoelaces. Who knew? Shoelaces can be a problem for some. If your child cannot tie their own shoelaces, please send them with Velcro shoes. Again, we're trying to avoid the adults handling multiple pairs of shoes from multiple homes. Multiple contact points from items from home only increases potential risk to the staff and to students. Help us help you keep all of us safe. You know, your team at River Heights wants to be on site. We want to be here with your children. We want to make this work. And even with all those restrictions and measures, we're dedicated to making it happen. We need to be a team though. We need your help. We need you and your children to help make this plan a success and to keep all of us as safe as possible. We know we can count on that support from you. This is Mr. Scheich with another installment of Safety Measures to Return to Learn. Signing off for now.